And at the WEF, our reporter Martina Fuchs spoke exclusively to the Secretary General of the OECD, who said that global investors should not overreact to China's slowdown or the recent market swings. Mr. Huria, the uh, theme of uh, this year's uh, World Economic Forum is mastering the fourth industrial revolution. What does this topic mean to you and what is, what is uh, its essence? The um, essence is precisely to be able to uh, make the most of the inevitable future. And that is how do you harness the power of technology, of information, how do you harness uh, the power of uh, the cutting edge uh, developments uh, in industry, in, in science, uh, uh, to be able to um, level the playing field, to be able to uh, get those that have been uh, disfavored so far, those that have been more vulnerable, to catch up. Well, we did get uh, the country's uh, GDP figures for 2015 uh, on Tuesday, showing that uh, growth was at the slowest pace in uh, a quarter of a century at 6.9% uh, in uh, 2015. Do you really believe that uh, we have uh, hit a bottom here? Well, frankly, uh, I think uh, the growth uh, in 2016 may be lower, but still above uh, 6%. Uh, and second, that again, it's part of the alignment. You don't align or realign the Chinese economy over 12 months. Um, it does have consequences, however. Massive, massive drop in commodity prices and massive drop in oil prices. The, the question is that we cannot put on the shoulders of China only the, the, the fate of the world economy. Global financial market stability, how do you see it? I mean, we have uh, such weak commodity prices, uh, still turmoil in uh, global uh, stock markets. What's your view on that? Well, uh, basically, what you have is very low interest rates. And when you're talking about, you know, the stock markets of the world, uh, you have um, low interest rates which are conducive, which are, you know, a stimulus for uh, stock markets. Uh, the whole idea of having low interest rates for such a long time and foreseeably also for the years to come uh, were meant to generate a stimulus in the real sector, not necessarily in the stock market, not necessarily only in the stock market, but to make it possible for people not to do mergers and acquisitions and buybacks, but to come to the stock market to fund new investment ventures. That was the General Secretary of OECD saying do not panic about China's uh, economic slowdown.